Hello, my people, and welcome to the latest and greatest episode of my mountain review series. I want to see mountains again! Mountains! Bannerbub! Last August, four friends and I drove up to Maine to spend the last weekend of the summer canoeing, hiking, fishing, and catching up with old pals in Baxter State Park. Today's video will focus more specifically on the hiking trail surrounding the Trout Brook Farm campground up to Trout Brook Mountain. Throughout the episode, I'll cover the basic details of the hike, and towards the end, I'll go over a few key points that, based on our experience, I think you should be aware of if you plan to visit the area yourself. But before we get into that, just a little tidbit for those of you who don't know, on this channel, I'm all about sharing my thoughts and experiences on the best spots to check out and the best gear to bring with. So if, like me, you want to spend more time outside appreciating the finer things in life, do yourself a favor and consider subscribing. Also, feel free to check out the description below for links to any of the videos, gear, or information resources I mention. Alrighty then, without further ado, let us begin. And then 2.3 miles, we link up with the Five Pond Trail. Cool. We go around it. So we have a little peak and then a bunch of lakes. Perfect. Now we're hiking. The first part of this hike was a bit of an uphill slog. But after a short stretch of huffing and puffing, we stopped to catch our breath while taking in the first view of the day. Yeah, bud. Uh, looks like there's another view up there. We continued on, and after a short while, we came across a cairn marking what we thought was the top, but later revealed itself to be a false peak. Sweaty and still out of breath, we pushed on, and before long our efforts were rewarded when we encountered the largest patch of wild blueberries that I have ever seen. Yeah, I want to see you eat it. You should eat these yourself, man. They're so good. Here. In there. Open up. You know? Get a couple of those. Mmm. You get some B roll of that pile in your hands there. Mmm. I was about to come back and just put this pile of shame, by the way. Wait, put your hand like, like you're still picking. After a short snack break, we made our final push towards the peak where we took all of the obligatory selfies before Mikkel whipped out his film camera and snapped a few group pics. And they are still being developed to this very day. After the peak, we headed down the other side of the mountain and hit another large blueberry patch, which just so happened to be located right at the spot where we caught the best view of the day. All these dang things, they're damn near everywhere. Don't move. Mm. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. There's so many. So many. That's a Bob Ross tree right there. Just smack in the middle of the landscape. <laughs> so, after making sure we left most of the blueberries for the bears, we headed downhill to check out some of the nearby ponds. Campground is right down that way. That way. Well, that's where we stay. Yes, it's that way to our. Uh, Little field pond is the first one that we'll find to point it away, and we'll just keep going from there. Cool. cool. This direction. So, this is where we'll meet back up to head back in the camp. No, we're gonna head this way. And then there's a separate trail. Down and then we no, could either just continue back down right. the same okay, trail so this here, is option a or we can go okay. around. Gotcha. No, this was on any option. So, if we wanted to go to the campground now, we could. No, 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 I'm saying this is the way back would be option A. Yeah, we could yeah. do this way back, or just yeah. keep going around. So it's point, eight, oh, it's point eight to the So there. basically, we, yeah, point instead of walking the first 1.1 miles oh. of the pond trail, yeah. we did a little 2.3 yeah. loop up the peak. I got it. 
Okay. Great idea. Let's go to the pump. So we're gonna spill some water. It's 120. <laughs> It's good boys. Yeah. Could you do my arms per chance? We're not doubling back. Yeah, right? And it's just an extra one mile flat. Yeah, and that's one that's I'm gonna just see how, what time we finish yeah. at the lake. That's valid. Mm -hmm. if, you need, if you need to hustle back, we can do that. Get the fuck on. Going this way? Mm -hmm. Buggy. Right, right. Yeah, move, move, move. All right. Buggy. Definitely gonna reapply some bit. So we made it to this campsite at the lake. It's not really much of a spot to go on the lake, but found a campsite, so we're gonna make fire and eat lunch. You think it's gonna be a whole day activity for them? I think if we burn them, we should burn them. Yeah. Where are you going to cast from, Bumba? Right there. Right there. Huh, this is not bad. Water's a little less scummy over here. I could probably fill up the filter. Oh, look at the froggy. Hey, froggy. It was a pretty good morning overall. Although the terrain was fairly mild, we were able to challenge ourselves a bit by racing up the first part and taking the long route to the fishing ponds by going over Trout Brook Mountain. This decision provided us with the opportunity to see some great views and of course, delicious wild blueberries. Just remember to leave some for the bears. We hadn't brought much more than some granola bars and a few tuna packets for lunch, so after a few failed fishing attempts, we got hungry enough to take the more direct route back to the campsite so that we could get a fire going, cook up some dinner, and continue on with the evening's festivities. So, now that you know some of the basics, I want to highlight some other important details that you should know before attempting to recreate this journey for yourself. First, although we didn't see any bears, we did see a lot of very fresh blueberry scat along the trail. I am by no means an expert on what to do during bear encounters, but it definitely helps to travel in groups. Supposedly they keep to themselves and only become dangerous when they feel threatened, so if you're hiking alone, just make sure to keep the chatter going so that you don't accidentally sneak up behind one. Second, keep in mind that unlike national parks, individual states can impose specific regulations on the state parks within their borders. Compared to most of the other places I've been, Baxter Park definitely fell on the strict end of the spectrum. We were only granted entry to the park because we had reserved a campsite in advance, and if you want to fish, you will need to purchase a license from the ranger station on your way into the park. Now, I know this video was a bit of a quickie, so I want to let you know that I will be making a couple more videos about this trip that get into more details about the campground we stayed at, in addition to some of the other activities we did during our time spent camping in Baxter State Park. But until I finish editing those, feel free to check out the information resources linked in the description below. So, there you have it folks. I want to wish a very warm welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, I just want to let you know that I also make gear review videos in addition to the travel guides like this one. So if you're curious about some of the gear we used for this trip, or you just want to learn about some more exciting new places via yours truly, I'll leave some links down below that should suit you uh, quite nicely. Alrighty my people, that concludes this week's episode of the Finder Bub Show. If you've already been to Baxter State Park, or more specifically, the Trout Brook Farm Campground, I'd love to have you comment below, especially if you think your insight can help me disprove something that I think I already know. If not, feel free to comment with any questions about our trip or any suggestions for where we should go next. But before you do, I just want to thank you oh so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're planning your next trip or looking for new gear, don't let the small details stress you out. Remember, life's an adventure, so relax, breathe in the outdoors, and don't forget to appreciate the finer things in life. See you out there, people. Peace.